enter um, and that's called username so if that is set it means that we have passed a variable to this page called uh, username inside of the post variable set so we can now redefine the username variable dollar underscore post username now it's important to note that because we're querying a database and we're going to be inserting this value into the query we need to apply the relevant security so we're going to apply mysql real escape string to this uh, just to help prevent sql injection okay so now what we want to do is we first of all want to check if the username is not empty so we use if not empty username then we want to go ahead and do something so we want to create a query uh, that's going to return a count of the amount of usernames where they match. So we create a query called username query, and this is equal to a MySQL query. Now the query is as follows. We want to select count, and we want to count a field from our, our table. So I'm going to be counting user ID. It doesn't matter which field that you pick, it will just literally return a count. So I'm going to count, uh, select count user ID from users remember our table is called users and that's where username so the username field just here is equal to and then in uh, single quotation marks username so we're taking this value here and passing it to this query here and we're now going to check uh, what the result of this query is so this will return a number now if the number is equal to one, that means that the username exists uh, in the database. Assuming that we are inserting unique records into the database, uh, I generated some code that put uh, 60,768 unique records uh, into this table. So we'll, we don't have the same username twice. So as long as your uh, registration script or however you're registering a user uh, actually checks beforehand that the username is unique, will only ever return a zero or a one from this query. So we need to check first of all if the um, query returns a zero or a one. And we need to grab a result for that. So I'm gonna say username result, that's equal to MySQL result. We need to supply two parameters here, the original query and the row, the row count, so or the row uh, that we're referencing, which is zero, because it will return one row, which is row zero, uh, with the count. We now need to create a simple if uh, statement. In fact, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and just echo this username result out. Now let's go ahead over to our main page, and I'm going to go ahead and type Alex. Now that's returned a zero automatically, so this is echoing out this here, which is equal to a zero. Uh, let's go over to our database table and find a value here. We've got Alex840. So what happens if I type Alex840, we then return a 1. And that means that this username is taken inside of here. We've got Alex840 just here. Uh, we can try this with all of the other records as well. It doesn't matter. It will always return a 1. So we could go ahead, for example, and say uh, Dale1481. And we could type in Dale eight I forgot the number a one eight one four eight one so one four eight one and that will return a one as well because that's taken so now what we can do is we can create um, an if statement just to check this number and then we can return the appropriate textual representation of what we are have just discussed the uh, overall concept so if username result is equal to zero which means that the username isn't taken we can echo that uh, or just say username available else and we want to create another condition if username result equals one or is equal to one we want to echo sorry that username is taken Okay, so now instead of a one or a zero, we've returned the appropriate textual representation uh, of the content we spoke about. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and start to type A L E A L E X. Ah, it's not returning anything. Uh, let's just check why that might be. 
oh sorry else if uh, username result is equal to one and again okay so now it says username available when I type Alex let's go ahead and pick another one so uh, let's go for the shortest one that I can remember uh, there's quite quite long ones uh, let's just go ahead and copy and paste this one into here when we paste it in sorry that username is taken so we have successfully created a back-end piece of code in username check.php which checks and returns these values jQuery handles the event itself it handles taking the value from this and passing it to our username check file and then it returns it into the appropriate uh, div uh, or element on our page uh, which happens to be this span just next to here so by implementing this into a registration script it's an easy way for a, to allow the user to instantly see if a particular username is available.